Today on Bell Cooks, I'm doing what are you cooking with? And it was time to clean out the uh, spice cabinet. I have this entire cabinet, which is nothing but basically spices. Um, this is the whole bottom shelf. As you can see, I'm a crazy person. So, um, flavor comes from the ingredients you put in your food. Am I? Oh no, he gets it on my head. Anyways, that was weird. Um, flavor comes from the spices you put in your food. And if you don't have them, you don't have flavor. And if you don't have flavor, what's the point? So, this is what I'm cooking with. I'm a crazy person. Anyways, uh, let's go over uh, some of these things. Why you need them, why you want them, why the hell do I have them. A couple of them I'm not entirely sure. Okay, first of all, this is one of the staples. Granulated garlic. You can get garlic salt, you can do different things. I like granulated garlic for most things. It works pretty well. Garlic salt has its uses. But uh, this is pretty much the first thing you need. You're going to have something, have this. Okay, salt and pepper. Salts. There is your coarse sea salt by the grocery store. And then you have table salt. You have iodinized and non-iodinized um, table salt. And table salt just means it's ground up really small. Iodine is very important in your diet. Without it, you know, die. So I don't, a lot of people say, oh, you can't have it do with flavor stuff. No. You need iodine and you're not really getting it from a lot of other sources. That's kind of the main source we get iodine from. Unless you take an iodine pills, then get non-iodinized salt. Um, but there's slight different flavors. Um, but not enough that it really makes that big a difference. So I go with that because, you know, I like my thyroid and things to work properly. So I go with that one. Okay, pepper. Oh, where do I get started on pepper? Okay, so whole black peppercorns. This goes in the, in the grinders. Uh, that is fantastic. Grind your own. Fresh. Okay. I already have ground white pepper. Now I make a lot of rubs and other things like that. And unless you want to stand there with a pepper grinder doing this to get a quarter cup of pepper forever, it's like, oh, that's so much fun. This works great. Uh, I like white pepper. It doesn't uh, add the flex necessarily to it. Flavor's pretty much the same. Smells the same. Um, it's a little fancier. That's about it. Okay, so those are your basics right there. Now what do you add to your basics? Well, you add a few things. If you cook a lot of Italian food, you're gonna have oregano. This is uh, bought at the grocery store, uh, but it works. I also have oregano growing in my garden, and it pretty much grows all year long. In the summertime, it gets to 120 here, and maybe you don't have really good fresh oregano at that point, so this sits there. This is probably older than it needs to be because I usually use fresh. Okay, so oregano cook. Basil. Where's my basil? I got basil here someplace. It's one of these. Okay, so here it is. Uh, the other uh, key of uh, Italian cooking, basil. And you can have also marjoram. Oh, so yummy. And some onion powder. Fantastic stuff. Okay, so those are really great if you're doing a lot of Italian cooking. Um, you'll have, you know, fennel seed and some other things as well. I don't think I have that out here. You usually only have a small thing of fennel seed. I don't make a lot of sausage and stuff, so I don't have that uh, necessarily sitting here. Red pepper flakes. Oh yeah, you gotta have red pepper flakes. They go on everything. They go in everything. They're delicious. Okay, now for some of the other stuff that I have, which is uh, thyme is always good. I have a really hard time uh, growing thyme here, so I'm stuck with the uh, dry thyme. That is fantastic. Mexican oregano. Mexican oregano is different than Mediterranean oregano. They are different from each other. I do a lot of Mexican cooking as well, so yes. that This is just a recent splurge. Usually I use the other. Um, it's cheap. I felt pretty. I bought it. There you go. Okay. Cumin. Cumin. If you don't know what cumin is, well, I don't know why you're watching this video. Actually, I do know why. It's because you need a lot of help. Uh, the old cumino. 
It's uh, fantastic. Um, smells and tastes a lot like body odor. Use it sparingly. I have a giant container that will probably last a hundred years. Actually, I put on a lot of stuff. It's on a lot of my rubs. So, uh, Cuban, it's fantastic. Okay, a lot of the rest of this. Okay, oh, here's the big one. Okay, sage leaf rubbed. I love this, it's fantastic. If you're making Thanksgiving, if you're doing pork chops or chicken or you know turkey and that sort of stuff if you're making stuffing sage is wonderful it's kind of more the main ingredient you'll, you'll taste in uh, like pork sausage like breakfast sausage that that oh that sausage flavor yeah you're you're tasting sage sage is fantastic it's amazing dill oh what can we say about wonderful dill dill is incredible it has a really nice earthy flavor to it if you're not cooking with dill you should this is whole dill which is tiny little thing it just comes out of dill weed basically um it looks like a weed with the little wispy little uh, leaves on it. it's fantastic um dill goes uh, i'm making my uh, crispy red potatoes with dill fantastic uh if you're doing tuna salad you have a can of tuna hopefully it's the good stuff uh, mayonnaise, uh, pepper, and dill. Oh, so good. It's fantastic. You should try that. Okay, so the rest of this stuff here is a lot of my dry rub, barbecue dry rubs. I do a lot of barbecue. So I have chili powders galore here, like you wouldn't believe. Ground or ball chili. It's uh, good stuff. I just picked this up from a spice shop in Albuquerque, uh, chili uh, shop there. Uh, this is fantastic. I also got their uh, ancho, and as you can see, the uh, white pepper came from the same place. They all look pretty similar. Oh, and this guy, the anise seed. I have not used this yet. This was kind of one of those, hey, I've got to start making some different stuff. I'm going to try this. This goes in a lot of desserts. A lot of, lot of uh, sweet things. So I'm really looking forward to this. I can't wait to get into this. This has a very licorice flavor to it. So we're gonna have some fun with that one. Okay, so the rest of these paprika. <sighs> paprika should be its own video. Paprika is like wine, okay? Seriously, there's red and white wine and then on the, within that there's a thousand different varieties. That is paprika. There's basically Spanish and Hungarian paprika. That's your red and white. The Spanish, I would call it the red. It's a little spicier. Uh, there's different levels of it. And when you get this, this is 85 ASTA. That is the redness that you see in here for coloring and, and, and all of that in your dishes. The higher it is, the redder it is. Uh, that's what that, that indicates if you see that. It does nothing to do with the spice levels and, and different things. The Hungarian, you can get sweet, you can get smoke, you can get all kinds of different things. Honestly, most kitchens probably should have, if you're a professional chef, you have at least three different kinds of paprika. I have two different kinds. I have Hungarian and Spanish. This is the Spanish right here. I have Hungarian, which is somewhere around here. I'm almost out of it. I need to get more. Um, and yeah, then there's the sweet and then there's smoked. I usually go with something that's, where is my, here it is, Chipotle. So if I'm going with stuff, I'll use Chipotle. And I also have here, which is hickory smoke powder. Okay, this is seriously, it's a powder. It's, they scrape down the inside of uh, the stuff when they're smoking things and they, they dry that out and they put that those bits into a, well, basically kind of a cellulose um, medium sort of thing. Kind of like, it's not sawdust, but think of it kind of like that. They put that in there and then this is this. The smell. <laughs> it's insane. The, uh, yeah, uh, this is how you get uh, barbecue uh, potato chips and things like that. This, you can get mesquite, you can get hickory, you can get a couple different kinds. I have hickory at the moment, I'm out of mesquite. I love this stuff for dry rubs because it just gives you already a, a head start. And if you're not gonna throw something on the smoker, you throw a tablespoon of that in your dry rub and it tastes like you smoked it all day. 
So it's fantastic. Okay, chili powders, or I already went over chipotle powder. Chipotle powder is fantastic. If you don't know what a chipotle is, it is a smoked jalapeno. They grind this up and uh, put it in powder. It is spicy, not insanely spicy. I mean, it's not like, you know, crazy stuff. Uh, but it's uh, fantastic, it's delicious, and it adds a lot of smoky flavor to things. Uh, turmeric. Turmeric, you can't really see the label because it's a printed one. Turmeric is a great thing that uh, uses a lot in uh, more um, Indian cooking and uh, some other, uh, I guess, like uh, what, uh, Southern Mediterranean cooking things, uh, North African cooking, you'll find different uh, uses for turmeric. Turmeric has a really neat flavor to it. Um, it kind of almost is a kind of a curry flavor and it, it, the biggest thing is it's poor man's saffron so saffron's expensive as hell the little bits of this this gives you a very similar color um, the flavor is pretty mild so it doesn't really add too much to it but uh, it's also good for joint inflammation so you know turmeric it up all right uh chili powders we went through that one already that 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 okay cayenne pepper Everybody has cayenne pepper. There are all kinds of different levels of cayenne pepper. Uh, this is only the 35,000 Scoville. You can get 80, 90 <laughs> if you really want it hot. I don't, my, my goal with cooking isn't to blow somebody's head off. My goal is to add flavor. So there's two kinds of flavor to me. There's a, what I call high and wide. So really, really spicy stuff is that when you get it in your mouth and it goes pow, that is high. So it's just bam, just goes just immediately to 11. When you get something like ancho, ancho is wide. It has the wonderful flavor to it. Um, it's a very earthy flavor. It's a really neat, uh, really neat chili, but it's more of a broad flavor. So when you, when you, when it hits your mouth, when it hits your taste buds, you go, ooh, ah, and then ooh as it expands out and you feel it kind of whoosh through you. I love ancho for that. It's fan friggin' tastic and uh, that's incredible. And then uh, this is kind of fun. I tried this recently, got a small one because I wasn't sure how much I was gonna love it, but it's aji amarillo. Probably screwing that up really bad. Ajai amarillo. Um, <laughs> it's a yellow pepper basically and it is spicy. Ooh, 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 it's spicy. It's good. Um, every kitchen should have cream of tartar. It seems weird, but cream of tartar comes in handy for a lot of things. People put it in cookies. You can put it in pancakes. Um, you use it for... My sister was doing a uh, thing, uh, and she was putting it in uh, the uh, Beef Wellington. So it... it do all kinds of stuff with it. Um, it. It's one of those things that if you don't have it, you need it. It's basically just acid. So it's a powdered acid. Uh, acid is really important in your, your food, especially if you're certain things you're baking, like baking powder requires an acid to activate. So you will have to add this to that and then when it heats, it blooms and you get a nice rise and volume out of your stuff. So cream of tartar is one of those weird things. I included it in this video just basically because it's probably not on most people's radar and you probably don't use a lot of it. But if you're cooking a lot of different things and you really want to push the uh, envelope with what stuff you're doing, it's not bad to have around. So think about that. Okay, bay leaves. I don't use a ton of bay leaves, so I have a small thing. Um, I had bought a big thing of bay leaves and threw half of it away because they don't make a lot of soup and different things. It's for flavoring soups and, and uh, sauces, things like that. Um, so I just have a small little one. I've probably had this almost a year and <laughs> it's only used half of it. All right, so the uh, red-headed stepchild here, besides like seasoning salt, which I don't have out here. Sometimes it's okay at fries, but you know, make your own seasoning salt if you're gonna. Um, Old Bay. Old Bay is awesome. Old Bay is not just 
for seafood, okay? You can put it on a lot of different things. I will actually put this in a uh, fish and chips batter, into the batter, uh, sprinkle a little in there. <laughs> it's amazing. And I use that same batter for my onion rings and other things. It really adds a neat flavor to it. Um, and everybody always says, what is that flavor? It's amazing, but what? And I never tell told you. So, basically, there you go. Now, there are a lot of other things that aren't out here. Um, celery salt and all kinds of stuff. I have this in here. As you can see, there's a lot more things in the top shelf. Uh, nutmeg and allspice and five spice and all that. They're usually in a lot smaller things. Uh, but I was just cleaning out the bottom shelf, so I figured uh, as this stuff is sitting here, I might as well go through it, why I use it, what it is, and all that. Now, you may have noticed this all seems to come from the same company. I am not sponsored. They do not pay me. They have not given anything. I don't think they even know I exist. Uh, I'm not even going to tell you their name. You can, might be able to see it on there if you pause and zoom or whatever. But they have good prices. They ship everything pretty fast. I like the products. Um, so I use them a lot to get a lot of my stuff that I can't get locally or at specialty shops or different things, just everyday kind of stuff. Um, and this is a small fraction of what you can actually have, but that's a big cabinet and I already have it completely fold, fold up, completely full. It is front and back the whole way along. You can see here, <laughs> I need to clean that bottom shelf because it's a mess. And uh, yeah, so anyways, that's uh, kind of what's in my uh, spice cabinet. And uh, now you know. All right, that's it. That's all I got. All right, see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, you, you there. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to you, buddy. Did you know that most of the people watching these videos are not subscribed to this channel? You know how much they're missing out on. You can't even hit the notification bell unless you're subscribed. That's crazy. You gotta hit the you gotta hit the button. I mean that not not that button. No nope, no nope, not that one. That one. There there you go. That's the button. All right, hit that. Hit the bell. Then you're gonna know when the videos come out and all that good stuff. You're gonna love it. But uh, that's all I got for now because uh, hey, uh, gotta go now. Train's coming. See you later. Bye.